Infiltration versus runoff. Runoff and infiltration are both important components of the hydrologic cycle. Infiltration rate is the process by which water on the surface enters into the soil. Eventually, the infiltrated water reaches our groundwater supply. Infiltration rates can differ due to a number of variables from soil type, such as coarse or fine textured soils, ground cover, such as the presence or absence of vegetation, or in urban areas where impervious cover like asphalt and concrete affect infiltration rates. Slope of the land and current moisture content of soils also affect infiltration rates. Infiltration is favored over runoff. If the water from a rain event able to stay on site, the soil is able to store the water for later use by plants. Also, having the water infiltrate gives the soil a chance to filter the water and remove some of the pollution that would have run off untreated. When the amount of water supplied in a rain event exceeds the infiltration rate of a soil, the excess water becomes runoff. Time of concentration is the term used to relate the time it takes for a rain event to reach a soil's maximum infiltration rate. Once this maximum has been reached, excess water becomes runoff. Runoff is a big concern because it is the primary vehicle of transport to carry harmful pollutants to above groundwater sources. From soil erosion, fertilizers, and pesticides being transported in rural areas, to oil, pet waste, and lawn fertilizers reaching our water sources in more urban areas. Managing and limiting runoff is a major concern for everyone. Ways to mitigate and minimize runoff in rural areas is to maintain adequate ground cover by way of vegetation or crop residues, break up long continuous slopes so water cannot gain speed and energy to be able to detach and carry away soil particles. Why even care? Does the hydrologic cycle directly affect me? Yes, everyone needs water to survive. Clean water is a basic necessity which in America we are blessed to have. Through becoming educated on the numerous threats to our ground and surface water supplies will hopefully influence our actions and decisions in aiding to protect our precious resource of clean water. Changing how we design and utilize our urban area can aid in protecting and improving water quality in urban areas. There are numerous ways we can reduce runoff and increase infiltration rates through reducing the amount of impervious concrete and asphalt present and increasing green space in urban areas, which accomplishes two things. It makes the environment more aesthetically pleasing and the others more practical. Through increased green space, this allows for increased area for water to infiltrate into the soil. One place that is overlooked for the possibilities of increase in infiltration is parking lots. We all have to use them, but do they have to be completely paved in asphalt? If the building of parking lots changed to incorporate green space and break up the continuous asphalt, giving water that falls on the parking lot a chance to infiltrate, this one small change would create a huge reduction in the amount of runoff. On an individual scale, setting up a rain capturing system on your roof will allow you to capture runoff and use it to water your plants or garden. And the best part about it is, after the initial cost, the water is free. Also, by collecting water from your roof, this cuts down on erosion and channelization in your yard around where the guttering discharges water off your roof. Another major concern with increased runoff rates due to impervious surfaces is higher risk of flooding. An example of this problem happened in our own backyard of Nashville, Tennessee back in 2010. I'm not saying that the flooding could have been prevented, but it could have possibly been reduced and the time it took for the water to drain would have been significantly shortened. In conclusion, infiltration is favored over runoff. Increased infiltration rates allow for water to be filtered through the soil and stored on site for plant use, compared to runoff, which can increase erosion rates and transport pollutants to sources of water. 
A few simple changes in our everyday design and use of our environment can greatly increase infiltration rates while decreasing runoff. Some examples are more green space, rainwater collection systems, and redesigning parking lots. These small changes can go a long way to improving the balance of our hydrologic cycle.